opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The perk defense begins with d6, controlling the e5 square and preparing for nf6. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up the dark square bishop. nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. nc3 defends the e4 pawn. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. bg5 develops the bishop and attacks the knight on f6. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This kicks an opposing bishop. This moves the bishop to safety. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. Master Games It is the last book move. This develops a knight off its starting square getting it into the action. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This ignores a better way to move a knight to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This leads to losing a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This takes an outpost an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is good. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. It is best. This wins material. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This loses material. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. Castling gets the king to a safer square out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent normally leads to a sharp, attacking game. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This wins a queen. It is best. 
This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. This is the way to win a bishop. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White's end game precision was a cut above black. 